23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The Bakersfield Police Department has released a composite of the man accused of entering a home over the weekend and performing lewd acts next to a sleeping high school aged girl. Bakersfield Police are now looking to identify the man. He's wanted for burglary and annoying or molesting a child. Officials say last Saturday he entered a home on Bell Terrace Way that had an unlocked front door. Anyone with information about the man is asked to call BPD at 327-7111. Standard Middles and Elementary School in Oildale temporarily locked down this morning. The superintendent telling 23 ABC. The lockdowns at the school off North Chester Avenue were initially put in place around 10 this morning after the Kern County Sheriff's Office said they were responding to reports of an armed suspect in the area. KCSO told 23 ABC the reports were unfounded. According to authorities, the lockdown was lifted about 15 minutes after it went into effect. Tomorrow night, Party in the Park will return to Cal State Bakersfield. This year's event is Halloween themed. The event is the CSUB Alumni Association's annual fall fundraiser connecting alumni and friends with the university and raising money for scholarships and mentoring. Over the last 20 plus years, the event has raised tens of thousands of dollars for scholarships benefiting CSUB alumni pursuing their graduate degree on campus. This year, you are encouraged to dress up in a costume, connect with people in attendance, enjoy drinks, food and live music. It's happening tomorrow from 6 until 9.30 p.m. at CSUB's Alumni Park, which is near the University Library. And if you're planning on heading out to that event, expect cool temperatures, especially as soon as the sun sets, because we are below seasonal this afternoon, and that trend is only continuing as we head into the weekend. A high of 72 degrees on Friday, as well as Saturday, we will be seeing an increase in winds as our next dry cold front will be sweeping through the region, very similar to what we were seeing today. Then high pressure will be dominating as we head into next week, back to those mid-80s by next Wednesday. That's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com.